So we're going to talk through the second electric parts for shadows. Uh, and the parts are really simple. Um, there's four basic things that you're going to be doing throughout the song. And the first two are bar chords and power chords, which almost don't deserve to be two separate things. Uh, these are things that you already know, so um, it makes things really simple. In the pre-chorus, every time the pre-chorus comes around, you're just going to be playing bar chords on the changes. So... play the right chord for the F2. Um, <laughs> so just changes on, uh, just drums on the changes for the pre-choruses, which is pretty simple. Every time the chorus comes around, you're going to be playing power chords, which is also really simple. chords and power chords, super simple. So in the turn in the bridge, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, in the turn, actually, in the original recording, uh, I think it's actually one guitar playing the part that you hear, the, the electric guitar part that you hear. Um, but when we transpose the song to make it a little bit more singable for our guys, because uh, the original song is like ridiculously high, uh, when we transpose it, we lost a little bit of the core, the, the original guitar voicing mm. opportunities. Uh, that they had. So we're going to take the single part and split it across two guitars, and I think it's going to work really well. And I also think it's, I don't know, kind of fun as a guitarist to like have to have a part that's so closely in line with someone else in your band. Uh, you kind of stop thinking of yourself as like one lone guitarist and think of yourselves as like, you know, team guitar or something like that. I don't know. So the part that you're going to be playing uh, to, to complete the whole is going to be a very simple part. It's just a uh, fifth fret on the G string. Like that, over and over. And then back out for verse two. Very simple. You'll hear it in context when I play along with the recording. Um, but the other electric is that, and you're creating that like low uh, foundation note for them to kind of um, uh, play on, I guess. So. That's the entire song except for the bridge. Like I said, the bridge is like the hardest part of this song. It's not real difficult, but it might be something a little bit different than what you're used to uh, if you're not used to playing kind of melodic figures. But uh, we're talking bridge two here. So there are two bridges in the song. Bridge two is, but I keep running, I keep chasing. This is where the, the band starts to pick up a little bit. Um, and you'll be playing uh, both times through uh, this bridge. So we'll repeat this figure a total of four times. I'll play it here twice. Um, and it's, it is optional. So if it's like super overpowering in context, you can just drop it and it'll be fine. I don't think it's going to be overpowering in its cool part. So, uh, start out with your first finger, just kind of barring, uh, your like fourth, third, and second strings. That's the the D string, the G string, and the B string with your first finger. Let me make that a little less crunchy. Like that. If you have an overdrive on for the rest of the song, which I recommend, uh, I would also recommend you kicking it off for this point because it is supposed to be just a little bit warmer, a little bit uh, less uh, crunchy and kind of in your face. Uh, so that first figure barring on the first, and then add your, your second finger here on the sixth fret. And then I slide my first finger down to fret three and hit uh, fret five with my third and fret six with my fourth. Like that. And this is written out in your card note sheet, so if you're not sure what I'm playing here, look it up too, because it's all right now for you. And then I take my third finger, slide it down to the third fret, and then bar on the first fret with my first finger. Slide up with my first finger to bar three strings with my third finger, my first finger on the third fret. And then you're right back to the beginning of the, the, the figure. So in time, I definitely can't sing and play this note at the same time. Uh, but starting from bridge two in time, but I... no, 
See, I can't even do that. <laughs> Let me try again. <clears throat> But I can't and then you'll just end up there. Like I said, you'll play that whole, what I just played, you'll play that twice through. Because uh, the bridge, the, the figure repeats itself twice within each bridge, and the bridge itself repeats itself twice. Uh, you'll see it when I demonstrate it. You'll, you'll get it in context. But, um, and then you'll just kind of end on that, that fifth fret. It's actually a C chord there. It's part of the C bar that you're used to playing. But you're just playing it with your first finger. And then fade back out, kick on your overdrive, and be ready uh, for that last chorus and outro. Uh, which the chorus is just like all the other courses you've played, and the outro is just like all the other turns you've played with that single. Just like that. So, um, that's it. Like I said, really simple. Uh, bar chords in the pre-choruses, power chords in the choruses. Um, you've got that single note, that single note on the fifth fret, that single note uh, C in the turns, and then that little melodic figure in the bridge, and uh, if that just doesn't sound right in context, or you just can't get it, the song will be fine, it will carry on uh, without that part, so don't worry about it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cue up the music and play along.
is the whole song for you. Um, I kind of uh, messed up the, the bridge, too. That little melodic figure actually ends on uh, this... The second time, or the I, the fourth time through that melodic progression, this is the D diminished chord. So one or three, one and one, uh, and it just kind of holds there, and you can even just kind of pull it back a little bit, quick kick on your delay, and then get ready for the chorus. I got distracted and wasn't really thinking ahead and didn't do that. So uh, just kind of keep an eye on that part because uh, you know there is this kind of like it's not a cut, but it's a lift. You know, no one. No one in the band switches to that that B flat, so don't don't be that guy. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions.